Is that a report or cuánto cobra? Lo tiene pagado, no lo you pay me for the more. No, 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 I've traveled, to, I've traveled to the airport a lot. I was going to do a snack down some price, and the best I can do to you to the airport is 25 bucks, and that's my best price. I've traveled to the airport a lot of times. My friend, well, that's the price. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna take me, I know, but I'm, I'm just letting you know that this is the only time that you're gonna get away with this. That's what I'm saying. You know how much we pay in gas in here, my friend? <laughs> we pay a little bit more than Look, I travel here frequently, man, a lot. A lot. Well, that's the price. Right so there I know. The so the price just went up uh, in the past couple of months. It just went up about. It doubled. That's what it did. Triple. That's what. That's, that's what. That's, that's what you're a, telling me. Gas hasn't gone up that much. So. My friend. That's so a federal. So you're case. talking business. Una concesión federal. What they have it right there in the border. Yeah. So that's the price they have there. Right. All I do is knock down some price. My best price for you, my friend, is twenty. I, I know that's your price. I, I I could find taxis that pay a lot less. I already <laughs> I already I know how it works, man. Yeah, I've traveled well, gotta, a lot in Mexico. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta hustle it for a best price. Simple. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, not, it's not that hard. Cheaper price, but you gotta hustle it. It's know? not hard, man. Okay, I I, I know how it mean, works, man. Okay, that means you gotta stop another one. Whatever you no, you come from I have no price. problem, man. The most I've ever paid to the airport was fifteen dollars. And all the other times was about twelve dollars. All I have to do is walk a short distance. I know exactly where to go. Something bucks, fifteen bucks is what we charge to downtown in Zona Rio. Yeah. And we're talking about five minutes. You get only. I only. I know it's only to gringos. You know. I know how it works, man. Take advantage of the gringos. No, it's not like that. But you're you're talking to a gringo that's traveled more to Mexico than most Mexicans. Okay. No, if you drive more down Mexico, yeah, I can. I'm pretty sure you used to the price. No, no. Tijuana. I come to Tijuana all the time. Okay, well, I work in Tijuana. Not friend, friend. And that's why the shark should <laughs> right in the spot. Right where the well, I, I know. I know how it works. At least a couple blocks. I know where to go, blocks. man. I know where to go. I, there's a place I used to go where I, I would get a taxi ride sometimes as okay. low as $8. It's just right over the bridge. Here we go. Sam. You know? I know where to go. Okay. You know? Okay. So, so this is this is a good lesson to learn and I'm going to I'm going to post this on all my social media sites and let people know <laughs> that there's more corruption happening again. All right. Let's go. How much is it in pesos? In pesos, 500 pesos, my friend. You guys are good. Really good. Right on. You have a blessed day, man. <laughs> Scam artists.
¿A dónde lo voy a llevar? Galería Plaza Reforma. ¿Al hotel Galerías Plaza? Sí, el hotel. Vamos. Galerías Plaza. Gracias. Gracias. Muy bien. Gracias. 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 This hotel is great, but I want to go back to something that happened early this morning when we first crossed the border. That taxi driver, he was out of line. Now, I've traveled by taxi so many times in Tijuana. I've gone to the airport so many times and I've never had to pay that much. And he was talking that the normal price is $45. And it only takes 12 minutes to get from the border to the airport. That is absolutely wrong, I guarantee it. So he's giving me a discount of $25. See, they had these yellow taxis that were abusing and taking advantage of gringos that didn't know for a long time. They were charging ridiculous prices for trips to the airport. And they, and from what I understand, that the, the police, the government or whatever, they cracked down on it and they actually kicked out the yellow taxis. And so they're, not, they're nowhere around the border anymore. And so then these others come. And, and these are taxis you can get around town in different places, and I've taken them many times. And I would normally pay 12, about $12. Sometimes I would tip a little bit more. I've paid as little as like $8 or $10 for a trip to the airport. So normally it would be like 12 bucks. So when I approached this guy, now I made a, my first mistake was we did not settle on a price before getting in the vehicle. That is the number one Thing, you have to follow that rule in Mexico. Mexico is a great place. There's so much really cool places to visit. It's kind of like, in some areas, it's a little bit like the Wild West, though, because of lack of regulation. But the lack of regulation, you actually have a lot more freedom. That's what I like about it. But you've got to know what you're doing. And one, and, and I, I, you know, it's a rule that I've always followed. But this one time, he did a little bit different. Um, every time I've gotten, before I getting into a taxi, I say, okay, what's the price? How much is it to the airport? And this guy said, whatever you want to pay, you name your price. And I was like, okay. And I told him, I told him right there that I usually pay $12. I pay 12 bucks for a ride to the airport. And he, he didn't say nothing. He didn't disagree with it or anything. And so we get in and then we're just having normal conversation. And then he brings up the price and he starts explaining, oh, that the regular price is $45, that the other taxis across the street charge $45. And I know so factually that that is absolutely false. That is a lie. And so he's offering a discounted service for $25. He infuriated me. And I wasn't going to let that go by. I wasn't going to let him get away um, without me sharing my two cents, without putting my two cents into it, but telling him about what I know is going on. So we, had, we resumed and we talked about it and we discussed and argued about it. And he was visually upset. 
when uh, when we got out of the car. And I, you know what? I probably right there could have just walked away and not paid him anything. But um, in the car, I told him, you know what? I'm going to pay you the twenty-five dollars that you that you're requesting. But I told him also, I'm going to let people know about what's going on. And and fortunately, I got video of him. I got his cab number and everything. So hopefully, hopefully that people might recognize him. Hopefully he stops doing this because that's absolutely wrong. But don't let that stop you from going to Mexico. Like I said, it's a fantastic place. You just got to follow certain rules, okay? You have to have a firm agreement of the price before you get into the taxi cab. That is number one rule for riding in taxis. It's a rainy day here in Mexico City, and from what I understand, it is raining in much of the country right now. But we're going to go out, we're going to get some food. We have hardly slept, and it's been a long trip. Well, not that long. Three and a half hours on a plane. No, four hours. Well, it was almost four hours. But anyways, uh, we're happy to be here. This is a really good hotel. They're treating us really good. And the taxi, we did a, a, a um, what do they call it, what, what, a registered taxi or whatever. You know, it's an official taxi service from the airport to here. And that cost us about, it's like about 12 or 13 dollars and it the trip was about twice as long as a trip from Tijuana border to the airport you know so for half the price yeah so we're being treated fairly here and that's good Mexico City is a great place great place to visit it's one of the biggest cities in the world but it's it's and it's so popular but it has so much culture so much great food has how many museums are in the city remember last time we came I think it's 150 museums in Mexico City, amazing. There's so much to see and do here. You could spend a lifetime here and not see it all. Oh, the games! I wanna see Colombia, Japan, and the best game tomorrow is going to be Russia and Egypt. Yes, it's going to be a good game. What are you gonna order? Tacos de longaniza for. Yo quiero cuatro tacos de longaniza. Cuatro? Cuatro. Y yo quiero cuatro de suero. Yes. 